Hi everyone, this is James from Barbecue.com and today we're going to pimp up the WSM with a new door and we're going to seal up some of the leaks with a gasket. So at the beginning of the year I posted a video talking about the different grills I had and what I'm cooking on and I was talking about my WSM and that there was a few issues with it that I wasn't too happy with. Um, Oliver from Pro Smoke Barbecue uh, got in touch with me then and said that he had some upgrades if I wanted to look at them and see if there was anything I wanted sent out. So one of the big problems with the WSM is that the chamber isn't exactly sealed. It's not like a Kamado cooker where it's a really sealed chamber and it's airtight. So there is some leaks in the lid and the door. So Oliver suggested the Cajun Bandit door. So he sent over the door and the new latch for it. Is a lot heavier grade than the, the one that's on the WSM and then to solve the lid issues they have gaskets so um, this gasket then will go around the rim of the lid and there's also enough then to do the door as well so this all comes as part of a kit from this Pro Smoke website um, Oliver did send me it for free but if you want to get the kit for yourself uh, this is the one for the 47 centimeter uh, WSM and it costs around $66.99 so I'll leave links in the description for that but we're going to go ahead and start with getting the gasket installed around the lid so I've already cleaned down the lip with the drum uh, just give it a good scrub of hot soapy water to take the grease off it and then clean it with a degreaser so you don't want any grease or gunk stuck on there because these gaskets are self-adhesive and if there's any grease left on there this isn't going to stick properly so I've already done that to save us a little bit of time so we're going to go ahead now and try and fit this. So you just peel the, the white paper off. Don't take this off ahead of time because it's going to end up stuck everywhere. And then just start at the edge of the drum. And work your way around a little bit at a time. Pressing that on about the white bagging tape as you go. Take your time on it just to try and make sure you get a good seal all the way around. Just add a bit of pressure to it to stick it to the actual drum. Alright. So once you get to the end then, it's just a matter of cutting it and try and cut it so that it seals perfectly. This is what we have left. Just take off the last piece of white backing and press it down. That seems to be stuck pretty well all the way around. So this is a soft gasket, so whenever the lid sits down onto it, uh, it compresses into it and forms a tight seal all the way around. Uh, any of you that have the WSM will know the lids don't fit perfectly well on them. Sometimes there is gaps or it can jiggle about a little bit. Because um, I don't think these drums are perfectly round, whereas the lids seem to be manufactured to a slightly higher standard. So these gaskets should hopefully help with that and seal up any of those gaps. So that was relatively painless. Now all you have to do is set the lid onto it and it says to leave it for roughly around 12 hours just to make sure that adhesive is probably stuck. Uh, hopefully the door goes on just as smooth. So as far as the door and the WSM goes, the one that comes with it really isn't a tight fit to the drum. So this is probably where most of the smoke uh, leaks from. So you will find that you end up with these brown marks all up around the sides of the doors and that's because the smoke is leaking from there and then staining the outside of the drum. Uh, as far as this actual door latch, there's really nothing to it. And also the door is quite flimsy itself. Um, it does the job, you can get by with it, but certainly the Cajun Bandit door is a much heavier door. Uh, and also this latch then is a logging latch. So uh, whenever you want to open it, you flip the handle up and that releases the pressure then. So it pulls the door tight in against the drum, which again stops any leaks. As an extra measure then, you also have the gasket tape. So you can run a seam of that around the inside of the door and then once that handle is locked into place, that will compress that gasket against the drum and give you an airtight seal. 
So once again, I've cleaned the door with degreaser just to make sure there's nothing on there. Uh, it's brand new, so there shouldn't be too much on it, but any manufacturing oils might stop the adhesive sticking. So we're going to go ahead and put it around the inside of the door and then we're going to fit the latch and actually mount it to the WSN drum. So we're going to do this in a similar fashion to we done the drum. Just start, peel off a part of that white backing tape. Just lay it along the edge of the door. This door overlaps a little bit more than the WSM original door does what allows this gasket to sort of stick and be as neat as possible. A lot easier if the door didn't rock about. Once you get down to the end, pair of scissors, cut it off and same again along the other side. And lastly, along the top edge. Okay. So that should give us our seal all the way around. Get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, so the handle has a few parts to it. Um, first thing we're going to do is actually mount it to the door. This is a square nut. So fits through quite snugly. Snugly, is that a word? It's a word now. Get on with your lock and washer and the nut. I think finger tight is probably tight enough on these things. If it starts to loosen off I'll go back in and tighten it with the spanner but then this is the part which will hold the actual door latch. So we need to mount this really to the drum to get it set properly, but I'll start by putting on the first nut and a little lock and washer. And then we'll get the door onto the actual WSM and get it tightened. So before you go ahead and put the door on, I recommend locking this part of the handle down because that will be in its fully closed position and that'll let us set where that latch is put to. So we put it inside the drum and hold it closed with her thumb. This is the little latch then which, which will hold the door closed. So that goes on next. And now it's a matter of adding this little thing in which holds the latch in place. And then finally the, nut, the last nut. So the nut that's behind the latch here, just loosen it out until it hits the latch. And then this nut we need to give a tighten. So we just have a socket here. I don't want to overly tighten it, but just to sweeten it up enough that there's some pressure there. So that's the door fully installed now. And you'll notice if I lift the handle on the outside, the door pops out from the drum. And then that allows you to turn and open the door. To close it up then, so again, just push it in, turn your handle up into place, and then as you press down on the handle, that locks the door into position. I'll spin this round and show you that again from the outside. So once again, this is the door in the lock position. Uh, if you pull this up, the door will pop out, and then turn the handle, and that allows you to open the door. This door, the WSM door, whenever you drop it down, it would stay there. This door won't. It doesn't have the lips on the bottom of it. Uh, but that's probably a handy thing because this door is quite small to be adding charcoal to or checking your bottom grate so it's a good idea to get it out of the way. So to close it up, your handle's still closed down, turn the latch around and it's still sitting with a gap here at the top. If you press that handle down that clamps the door into position. So that's a much tighter fitting door than the original WSM one. So that's everything fitted, new doors on, gaskets on around the top lid. Uh, there is enough gasket left uh, to do around the bottom. I've never really had an issue with leaking around there, but I will keep that in case I ever spring a leak in that department. Uh, I'll leave links below if you want to check out this kit, if you want to get it for your own. It's available for the 37, 47 and 57 WSMs. Uh, whenever I fire this up and see how it performs, I'll let you guys know. 
But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.